right, that was awesome. I am uh, here in Wadsworth, Ohio, a little town that I grew up in. And we just got done talking at my mom's school right behind me there, where she works. It's career day. So I got to talk to about 100 some kids about him being able to follow your passions and learn about stuff that you love so you can get a job doing something that you love every single day. One of my favorite topics that I talked about was my experience with college, how I lucked out. Um, but one thing I learned through the process of going, going to college is that college is the first time ever in your life that you get to go to school and learn about anything that you want which is pretty powerful. You get to pick this time. College, I mean, that's obviously why you pay for it, but a lot of kids don't realize you can learn and you can gain knowledge and better yourself in any kind of category that you want. If you like animals, become a vet. If you like sports, you can become athlete, physical therapist, sports management. If you like outdoors, you can. there's all kinds of careers in any kind of topic. So you just gotta find your passion and go to college to enlighten yourself in that topic. So anyways, super cool experience. Uh, hope to do it again. I love talking to little kids, seeing their little eyes light up. So hopefully do that again. Uh, we're gonna head back to the shop now. Uh, see what's going on. I'm late to work. I wonder what everybody's doing there. Let's go. What you working on, man? I am working on a Mustang. We're gonna try to do a version two of the Mustang in the Spitfire. Just like the MIG where we got rid of the poster board on the back and the front, the Mustang has a ton of poster board on it. So my thought is if we can do that MIG, we can go backwards and do it to the Spitfire and the uh, the other planes and get a really nice foam rather than paper. You know, so reflect. revisiting some old designs and yeah. improving. Yeah. Also, the Spitfire doesn't have a landing gear. The Mustang really could use some flaps. I mean, we can really go crazy and add a whole bunch more features. I don't know if you guys know, but Dan Sponholz, uh, he has the 3D printed exhaust stacks now for the oh, nice. for the MIG, but he's also working on spinners and he's working on... A matter of fact, have you seen the spinner? No. Check this out. Go do it. Into the barrack. That. That's cool. This is Dan's uh, spinner he designed for, for our swappables. Nice. That one's custom sized to be perfect, like to look real nice on the MIG. But he's also doing one for the Spit and for the Mustang and all those other ones. So you'll be able to like paint them up really pretty and then actually 3D print parts and get detail that we've never had before. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. Taking foam board planes to a whole new level. A whole new level. So we got some. Uh, Exciting stuff with our uh, STEM curriculum going on, yes, don't we? Yes, really exciting stuff. So we got some exciting stuff going on with uh, STEM recently. Yeah. If you guys didn't know, we have our, our whole STEM curriculum, K through high K, school. K through 12, 21 uh, national standards met, and it's even in Europe now. Grobner, the great folks at Grobner, they're actually bringing FT STEM to Europe. But uh, a while back around Christmas time, we released these three planes here, the Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. And these was actually designed based on a challenge we gave students to uh, to actually meet a challenge. We wanted a prop and slot jet that had interchangeable wings. We only wanted two interchangeable wings around one fuselage. They did three fuselages, three interchangeable wings, nine combinations. But what we did is we put it on the store and we're taking the proceeds of that and we actually gave schools the opportunity to apply for grant money from flight tests. So we're self-funding FT STEM. And today is the deadline uh, to when we announce it. We actually have three schools that we're gonna be awarding that money from the revenue that the community has given. Our next round is gonna be, uh, I think the application's close June 31st. We'll have announcements about that, but keep buying the Alpha Bravo Charlie because we're not just doing this once. We're gonna actually continue to use this to fund it. As we get more STEM products, we're gonna even be able to build more money and fund more schools. So thanks again to those of you guys that bought the Alpha Bravo Charlie and congratulations to the schools that uh, won the grant. All right, so I'm really bad with names here. So I just, I opened this up so I can actually find the names, but the three schools that we picked, and uh, by the way, there was like 12 applicants, which is huge for the first round. We have the uh, $1,000 going to uh, Pierce Public Schools. Uh, we have North Dennis um, uh, from Proctor High School. They're getting a thousand bucks. And the final recipient, the third one, is East Kent High School. And they're gonna be getting $500 of grant money, but also, since they're so close to our backyard, we're gonna gather up a whole bunch of gear around the shop and give them a little surprise. In other words, it's it's pretty awesome because by you guys buying our silly foam planes, playing yeah. with the silly foam planes, and us making silly videos about silly foam planes, we're actually helping kids learn about science, technology, engineering, and math. Uh, using the hobby, getting them into aeronautics, and hopefully eventually into the uh, aviation field yeah. one day in the future. It's, it's honestly moved me to tears. When you see what happens when aviation goes into schools, no matter what age group, kids don't only learn how to fly and how to build, 
but they learn how to solve problems. And yep. they learn how to solve problems very efficiently, analytically, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just incredible the solutions they come up with. And just like with Jake's class, you know, we gave them a very simple task. They over-delivered in a quicker timeline than we ever imagined. Yep. And a matter of fact, for the Flutog this year, we're going to be using STEM schools to help us design our Flutog plane when we go up against uh, Carnegie Mellon. That's going to be awesome. Yeah. So yeah, thank you guys. It wouldn't be possible without you. Even if you don't buy anything, just by watching our videos, you guys help yeah. us out. You're helping us do this. You're helping us impact these kids. You're blessing a lot of um, us. Which is, which is super cool. So thanks so much. Yeah. Hi, Gwen. <laughs>